I'm frustrated, y'all. This every single day I want to quit trucking, and I just started like two months ago. I've had my CDLs for about five months now. Been driving for two months. Good thing I kept my job at the hospital just in case this didn't work out because right now it's looking like I'm going back. Darkness, everybody. Dark, everyone. Darkness is spreading. What's up, YouTube? Welcome back to Breaking Truckers. Good thing I kept my job at the hospital just in case this didn't work out because right now it's looking like I'm going back. Driver says. I am going back to the medical field. Maybe this might not be the job for you. No more wasting time. Let's get it. Hold on. This that truck and BS everybody was talking about. I've been here at the shipper's office since 2 o'clock. And I'm just now getting loaded. And now it's so dark. Can't see nothing. And they know good and well I don't drive at night. Because I can't see. That's why I do all my loads. I do all my deliveries in the daytime. I get everything done in the daytime and I shut down at night because once that sun goes down, I feel like if I can't see the road, I have no business being on it, especially with an 80,000 pound vehicle. So once the sun goes down, I shut down. And now I'm still sitting here at the shipper's office and I'm just now getting loaded and it's dark as can be. This is some BS. I've been here since two o'clock, five hours I've been sitting here. I'm frustrated, y'all. This Every single day I want to quit trucking. And I just started like two months ago. I've had my CDLs for about five months now. Been driving for two months. Good thing I kept my job at the hospital just in case this didn't work out. Because right now it's looking like I'm going back. All right, guys, you heard it for yourself. So. Now let's talk about it, drivers. Yeah, y'all heard it for yourselves. Y'all hear this driver that's been here at the shipper's office for a long time. A long time. This is a pretty new driver. You know, she says towards the end of the video that she had her license for about five months and she only been driving for two. This is the experience that you're going to come across, driver. This is what you signed up for. And this is probably what the people don't tell you about. You say this is trucking BS that everybody's talking about. No, obviously. They're not talking about it because you didn't know about it before you got into this industry. Yes, there's going to be plenty of times that you're going to be stuck at the shipper and or receiver for any amount of time. That's what they do. They don't care about your time. They only care about getting the trucks loaded on the timetable that they got. So if it's going to take them two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten hours, that's what they're going to do. See, at this point, this is what you need to do. You need to call your, your fleet manager. Let them know they still got you at the door. Get your detention time to work out and let it work from there. No, no, driver. No, 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 no. You're in trucking. You're in trucking. There's no such thing as I drive through the day only driving. No, driver. No, you you in the wrong business if you thinking that. You get your loads during the day so you could drive during the day. No, this ain't no part-time trucking. You find jobs like that when you find local jobs where you only want to work six to five, nine to five, eight to four. And you want to go home and 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 getting your and, and getting your comfortable bed but this is trucking you're over the road there's no such thing as day driving or night driving there's a such thing as night driving or day driving you talking about you you don't want to drive I, I don't drive during the night because i can't see well don't your truck got lights Trucks do got headlights, right? And if you and if you can't see, you you might need to go and get some prescription lenses. And prescription lenses is part of your license because they're gonna have to put on there if you wear corrective lenses while you're driving. It could be a problem if you don't. But glasses might help. But then again, driver, this this shouldn't be for you if you can't drive in the daytime or drive in the nighttime because your hours is going to present to you when you can drive. You know, this reminds me of of what just happened to me recently. Right. 
So I thought I was going to shut down after being hemmed up at the at the shipper for about eight and a half hours. Um, I had to wait for them to get me in the door. They got me unlocked. They loaded the truck to the mats, which popped one of the tandems tandem tires on the trailer. So, of course, I had to go over in the cut, call the breakdown, wait for about another hour, hour and a half to two hours for a breakdown to come and spend about another hour to repair the, the tandem, tandem tires. All right, cool. That's done. I only had like three, I say not, not even three, maybe about two and 45 minutes, two hours and 45 minutes. And it was working on my drive clock, not my drive clock, but my, my clock clock. So my drive clock and my and my clock clock is running down. So whatever time I had left on my clock, it's the time that I had left on my drive. I tell my fleet manager, I say, hey, bro, I'm about to go ahead and shut down. I'll go ahead and get an early start and make it back to Ohio. I get a call back maybe about a couple of, couple, couple of seconds later and say, hey, I'm going to need you to drive out your drive clock. And I said, well, you know, I try to explain that I got like, you know, about 40,000, you know, about 40,000 plus in the in the in the box. I'm about to go down 77. You know, 77 ain't no <laughs> ain't nothing to play with when going through them mountains, you know, 25 going up the hill and whatever the case. But no, no, my my driver manager was like, look, I need you to at least get to Rock Hill south carolina so you can at least have eight hours to get to ohio instead of 10 hours to get to ohio i was like you know what i'm not gonna argue you know let me go ahead and do this and just hope for the best that i find uh a park at the flying j which i did which i did so driver i'm telling you especially if you're working at my company you would not make it. Yeah, you 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 might want to go back, driver. You might want to go back. Because this isn't for you. This isn't for you. We we can already see. We can already see that this right here is not the lifestyle that you want. Because in trucking, things change on a fly. And if you already got this type of attitude about trucking already then it's best to get up out of it all right it's best to get up out of it you are in the wrong line of you you are definitely in the wrong line of work if you can't drive nights in truck that's my thoughts drivers what's yours let me know in the comments below big cheese got it locked boy want you to let me all night yeah take me down want you to make me real wet yeah swim around want you to take it like a g and yeah, i make a sound